All right, Coach, uh, talk about opening up tomorrow's festivities for the uh, late night at Fogelman Arena. Um, well, it sounds like it's, it's going to be a, a great night for, for athletics, and uh, it's going to be great opening for it, uh, especially, you know, trying to continue our winning streak and uh, getting ready for the last month of our conference play. Uh, so we're expecting a good match against UAB. It's a tough opponent. Uh, we're expecting a good crowd. Uh, that's going to stay and, and watch uh, everything that follows. So it's going to be exciting. All right, Coach, talk about uh, Sunday. I know it's a ways off still, but uh, Sunday's match is the uh, Dig Pink Contest. Talk about the opportunity the team has to raise money for a good cause. Well, it's a great cause, and uh, like every year, we're happy uh, to be able to help. The um, team will wear uh, pink jerseys for the occasion, and uh, also all the fans uh, wearing pink can, can get in uh, for half price so it's a, it's a great uh, occasion and, and a good chance to, uh, to raise money for that cause. Now, getting into actual competition now, talk a little bit about UAB. Tulane's got a long history with UAB. Uh, a lot of season enders for both programs. Tulane, UAB ended the Tulane season in 06 and 07 and uh, obviously you guys were able to exact a bit of a revenge last year beating UAB in a conference championship match. Talk about the UAB team you'll be facing on Friday. Well UAB for the last three or four years were tough of our conference, you know, and we have a uh, good rivalry with them. Uh, right now we're trying to extend our winning streak and, and you know, ex we're expecting a good match at home, uh, but I think we're prepared well for this team and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. And talk a little about, about Sunday's opponent, the Memphis Tigers. I mean, um, they may be a bit down this year, but you said, like you said before, accomplish or say, any team will sneak up and bite you. Well, Memphis is a very athletic team, you know, and right now uh, they're bottom of the conference, but uh, we have to be serious about it and prepare the best that we can going in this last month of competition. So uh, two good opponents, uh, we're, but we're still expecting a, a good weekend at home, and uh, we, we're trying to continue to get better for, you know, finishing the, the conference and going into conference tournament. So two good opponents, but we're, we're trying to improve and, and we think we'll, we'll play two good matches this weekend. Talk about your team a little bit. Had some ups and downs early on, dropped a couple of five setters. Um, your team has played well of late, three straight 3-0 wins. Uh, what's been the difference for you there? Well, we're, we're just, you know, I think we're playing with more confidence first. You know, every week that this new team that's been put together basically this year, uh, they feel more confident playing with each other and, and you can notice every practice at every match that, that we're better, being, getting better and being more uh, uh, consistent with the, with, the, with the game. So we're trying to improve on that and play with more confidence uh, and finish this year's conference play strong. You got a little bit more than, half, than a month left in the season. The conference time is looming really closely on the horizon. Is your team where you want it to be right now? Uh, realistically, I think I think yes. I think we're continuously improving, and and that's all I can ask for. You know, I think I think we have a good standings right now, being in second place, and uh, we're able to control what happens to us in the future. I think uh, we're able to beat any team in the conference uh, if we if we play well and we prepare well for for each opponent. So I think we're in a good place, and you know, I'm very optimistic uh, about this upcoming month.